How you doing? It's Russ down at Iron Fitness. I'm going to talk you through the best way to get your day started. So this is called the Evo Breakfast. And I've put three, six, three, six, five days, okay? You've got to live the code. It's not just something that you do for eight weeks, 12 weeks when you're on it. This is something you need to do every single day of the year. The key benefits to starting your day with the Evo Breakfast are that you're going to get the key nutrients that you need first thing in the morning. So breakfast stands for breaking the fast. So you've obviously fasted overnight when you've been asleep. So you're going to wake up in a dehydrated state when you need nutrients. It sets you up for the full day. So often we get asked questions where people feel like they need to snack late at night, maybe when they're watching telly. The first question I would ask them in response to them asking me that would be what did you have for your breakfast? And what we often find is that they've had a carbohydrate based breakfast as opposed to the Evo breakfast that I'm going to talk about in a minute. So it sets you up for your full day. It balances your hormones and your neurotransmitters. So when your hormones are balanced, you're less likely to have food cravings, things like that. Your neurotransmitters are going to balance your mood and elevate your mood. So in that respect, it increases focus, drive and mood throughout the day. It's also going to improve your gym performance that day. So if you have um, the Evo breakfast, if, even if you're training later on at night, it's still going to have a, a big impact on that training session. And the last thing is that you'll make better decisions throughout the day. So our decisions are often governed by our hormones. So if your insulin's going up and down throughout the day, you're going to be moody, erratic, you're going to make bad decisions based around food, you're going to be reaching out for that vending machine, that excess coffee, uh, sugars, stimulants, things like that throughout the afternoon. And that is all nipped in the bud by having the right type of breakfast. So what is the Evo breakfast? Okay, we split this into two categories. So everybody needs to follow the first three principles and then some people need to follow the second three. So everybody needs 350 to 500 milliliters of water in the morning. Like I said, you're waking up dehydrated, your body cannot function when it's dehydrated. So get that water in straight away. Second component is some form of protein and healthy fats. So your protein can come from meat, fish or eggs. If you eat a variety of meat, fish, meat and fish, then you're going to get healthy fats associated with that. So you don't need to think over and above, like putting any, any other type of fats in there. You will get that through mixing up your protein sources. And then the last component is some form of greens. So for me, the easiest form of greens to eat is like spinach leaves. Just grab a few, put them on your plate and just get them eating. It seems a little bit weird at first because you're not used to eating that type of thing at breakfast. But once you start doing it, you feel the benefits. It's easy to carry on with. And then depending on who you are, these last three come into play. So for some people, if they're training at a good level, um, and they've got a decent amount of muscle mass, then some carbohydrates can go down pretty well. Personally, I like one to two pieces of brown toast in the morning. That works for me. It won't work for everybody. Oats tends to work quite well for some people as well. So mix up that, that carbohydrate sauce. And the best thing to do is experiment. See if you feel good when you put the carbs in, as opposed to the next day when you leave the carbs out feeling like you can think better throughout the morning, if your training's better, if you're losing more body fat over a period of time, keep your carbs in, and that's the right thing for you to do. If you're feeling sluggish, bloated, low energy, that sort of stuff when you put the carbs in, then don't have them. Nuts can come in useful. If you're going to have meat with your breakfast, then it's going to be um, a meat sauce that doesn't have much healthy fats, like chicken or turkey, then you might want to supplement that with some nuts, like cashew nuts, walnuts, them type of nuts because they've got healthy fats with them and they balance out your neurotransmitters and your hormones. Last thing, it's definitely one for me, I like a, an early morning coffee, gets me up, gets my mood good, gets me productive throughout the morning. Again, that isn't for everybody. Some people we work with, they come in and their thyroid um, and their adrenal glands are they're pretty smashed through various things that they've done in the past, maybe restrictive dieting, maybe excessive cardio, things like that. They're, they're, them sort of um, systems aren't into play, someone like that, we would tell them not to have any coffee. So that's one that's probably a discussion for another day. We'll do a whole video series just on talking about kind of coffee, caffeine, stimulants, all sorts of things. But some people that'll, that'll work really well for them, so that, that is definitely me. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. This is in the whiteboard in the gym. So, obviously, our members can come in and, and read through this. Feel free to take a picture on your phone, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon.